In this demonstration, I'll, I'll show you how to create a simple sweep feature. Features can be constructed using a sweep where we use two sketches, a profile sketch and a path sketch, to create solid geometry. The first step is let's create the path sketch. Here I'll just create a new sketch on the front plane and I'll draw a series of lines and arcs that represent the path that I want my sweep to follow. When I'm satisfied with that shape, I'll exit the sketch. It's a good idea to rename your sketches when you're using sweep features so that you can keep track of which sketch is the path and which step is the profile. Now for our profile sketch, we're going to want to draw on a plane that is perpendicular to our path. Here the right plane will work well. Let's create a new sketch on the right plane and I'll orient myself normal too. Now the sketch origin happens to be down here at the bottom start of my profile or of my path. Sometimes it's useful to rotate the view just slightly so that you can see where you are in relation to your path sketch. I'll use the center rectangle tool and just draw a small rectangular sketch that's, uh, that is centered on the model origin or centered on the end of this path. You can add dimensions and sketch relations as desired. and when you're satisfied with your sketch simply exit the sketch. Now we have two sketches in our feature manager tree. I'll rename the second sketch profile. What I want to do now is just use my profile and path sketches to make a boss sweep. Insert boss sweep. Here we're adding material by taking our profile sketch and sweeping it along the path sketch. And you should see a dynamic preview that indicates what that feature will look like once it's complete. Hit the green OK check mark, and there we have our boss sweep. If you need to modify your sweep feature, just look in the feature manager tree. You can click on it and choose edit feature, or you can go back to the individual sketches for the profile or the path. If I wanted to edit my path sketch, for example, to maybe elongate it or change it. Then just exit the sketch. To change the profile, edit the sketch for the profile, and maybe we will change the profile from a simple rectangle to something with an arc shape on top. Add the necessary relationships, rebuild, and you're done. So that's one way you can make more complex geometry using the sweep feature.